It is called a collective self-rescuer. It consists of two elements, the device itself and the attachment point outside the window. This self-rescuer has no restrictions. The only thing is the speed of descent. That is, the device can descend at a speed of 3 feet per second, only the weight in the range from 88 to 440 pounds. Instructions for use. Watch carefully. Write it down. In case of emergency, if it's impossible to take the stairs, you must take the device out of the bag, hang it on the mounting point on the outside wall next to the window. Put on a life-saving kerchief. And then, I'm afraid to say, go out of the window. Of course, the mounting point was done in advance, and he is a trained person. He has done it many times already. Let's see what it looks like if a beginner is going to do it. So, in general, I just get out and put my feet against the wall. You put your feet against the wall. Holding on to this thing. Holding on to the red lanyard. Are you ready? Well, that's not my idea, but let's try to do it so everything will be fine, I hope. Can hold my weight, right? Nastya, we'll have to make two shots, okay? What do you mean two? Should I go down twice or get out of the window twice? Well, you need to get down two times. I hate you, you know that, do you? I think I let my arms go right now. Ah, I just have to let go and hang on this thing. It's kind of a nightmare. Gana, why? Nasta, you need to do it quickly. I'm gonna kill you, Gana. So? Go! Mommy! Hold the cable. And what do I do now? Until the right moment, you can... Am I just going down? Just letting... Am I just letting... This extension go. Well, and finally, after a long persuasion... My hands go? This extension go. And which one should I hold on to? This one? This one, yes. The system automatically adjusts the descent speed, one yard per second, but these emotions are still unmatched. Mommy! Good gracious! Lord, this is very scary! If I ever... Well, now it's better. Well, in general, it's very scary. The moment when you need to get out of the window and hang on this thing is just very scary. And then it's okay. It somehow moves down itself. So, thank God it's over. Let's say Nastya didn't dare to go down the second time using this system. Coming up next, the most technologically advanced system for secure escape from high-rise buildings, and the jolliest one. The program experiments continues. We are still preparing for an important event the testing of an autonomous shoot backpack system. No one has ever filmed it before. Let's go. This rescue system is brand new. It hasn't received all the necessary certificates, so you can't test it on people. Here is our hero for today, a dummy. It is in a wheelchair, not because he has tested this system many times, it just weighs 220 pounds, so it's easier to transport it in the wheelchair. Well, enough introductory words. It's time to move on to SPARS testing. We put it on the AMS dummy. We fix it in the window opening and fasten the safety cord to the railing. Now from the outside you can clearly see that only the backpack sticks out. In the meantime, we assign responsibilities. But first… Meet a vertical spiral sleeve, and here's how it works. 
This is a stationary rescue device. That is, it needs to be specially installed and fixed in a special way on the floors. In addition, it's hardly possible to quickly deploy the sleeve and prepare it to save people without an experienced person familiar with the device functions. There is a 264 pound weight limit, but it will hold 308 pounds and even 330 pounds. Another disadvantage is the height limit. Such sleeves usually do not exceed 147, 164 feet. And remember that there are modern buildings that are 328 feet high and higher. However, these are perhaps all the cons that I would like to note. Rescue with the help of such a sleeve is not a rescue at all, but pure fun. See for yourself. <laughs> That's all. Checked. This sleeve is sewn so that the person inside it moves in a spiral. So the speed of descent decreases. And most importantly, it's probably the only rescue devices that we have shown that is not scary. It is difficult to find a person who is not afraid of heights. It is even harder to find someone who can safely descend from this height. But this sleeve is closed, and a person simply does not see the notorious height when he is inside. Hence the ease with which many members of our film crew so readily agreed to go down the sleeve from the ninth floor. The productivity of these sleeves is five persons per minute. Here. Well, I just know about Korean sleeves. They conducted an experiment and 300 people went down in 10 minutes, sufficiently prepared. Well, they just went down one by one. Another type of such rescue system is a slanted sleeve. Here, in addition to fixing it on the floor, there must be a special fixation on the ground. And again, this requires both advanced preparation and time. But other than that, the system is very simple. It's as easy to use it as to go down the slide. It's time to return to the tests of SPARS, Special Autonomous Chute Backpack System. And let's not drag this out any longer. All right. Is that all? Do I pull? As scientists say in such cases, do we begin? Let's begin. I step back. The system is getting filled with compressed air. This lasts for about 10 to 15 seconds. Hope. Everything is closed now. The top safety cord has detached. Oh! Everything is fine. <laughs> The system worked on the first try. Everything is fine. Congratulations. Good. Well, it went pretty well, in my opinion. Yes. 
I had a fear when this system that throws the whole structure away from the window was inflating that it can hit and maybe even push the window, but everything seems fine. No, the surface is large, and the larger the surface, the less the pressure. Well, it was quick and painless, as they say in such cases, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's there already. Good, let's go down. Please note that during the ejection from the window opening, spar seems to push off from the walls. This is done deliberately to quickly take a person away from a dangerous proximity to the building. Well, I saw this for the first time, and you've seen it. I don't know, probably 10, 20, 40 times. 240 times. 240 times, excellent. How do you assess what just happened? The product worked properly. A man, or in this case, a dummy, is saved. It is alive thanks to the parachutes and thanks to the pneumo frame. This unusual construction is inflated with compressed gas from the balloon, and it has several tasks to literally pull a person out of the window and throw them away from the wall of the building at a certain point to straighten the segments of the circular parachute and to create an elastic protective skeleton around the person, and also to form a soft pillow for landing on the surface. Some hundred years ago, a Russian scientist, Gleb Kotelnikov, created a backpack parachute and recreated a pneuma frame, a self-expanding parachute, which allowed to develop a new way of saving people from high-rise buildings. There is no such yet. The usual parachute wouldn't manage. We've shown you all the basic rescue systems designed to leave buildings in case of an emergency. From the most common, the latter, and the intuitive, get down quickly, to the technological and so far unparalleled in the world backpack system. But in fact, the surest way to protect yourself during a fire is common sense. In the case of smoke, you must leave everything and leave the building. And having taken care of your safety, you can call firefighters. This simple rule will allow you to save both life and health. Well, and such developments, as even their creators say, let them be. But it would be better to never have the need to use them.